Hey there, and welcome to the Voyager Academy. In this series, we're going to be teaching you all about Voyager and how you can use it to build your awesome web app. So let's go ahead and start off just by showing you what Voyager is and giving you a quick introduction to the admin interface. So I do have a new Voyager install right here in front of us. And if we go to our application, it is just a standard Laravel application. There's nothing built out on the front end. But then if we go to the admin, we now have a full admin panel that we can then log in. So I'm going to log in with the default credentials, which is admin at admin.com and password as password. And once I am logged in here on our dashboard, we get a overview of our users, our posts, and our pages. And it may be kind of confusing. Some people think, oh, then Voyager is a CMS. But no, really, the posts and pages are really just a data type to kind of get you started. So then we can go over here to our left menu, and we can see that we can go to the dashboard. We can then go to roles. And these are all the roles that a user can have. You can add a new role and give them different permissions. Then we have our users here, and we did install the dummy data with the Voyager install. So we have one user right here. We can then add a new user, edit or delete the current user. And then if we go over here, we have a full-fledged media manager. So this is really cool because we can then go inside of these folders. We can maybe rename this. We could then delete it if we wanted to. We could upload some new files, and we can also add a new folder. So anything that you can typically do in a media manager, uploading files, uploading videos, uploading images, you can do right here in the Voyager admin. And moving on down, we also have our posts here. So this is the posts data type, and we can go here to add a new post. We can also then click here to edit a post. We can add a title, the post content. We can then add the slug, the category, and we can update the image as well. So then we can go here and click on update the post even though I haven't actually edited anything. But I just kind of wanted to show you real quick that you can edit these posts, you can delete the posts, um, you can also do a bulk delete as well. So then going on to pages, and there's nothing too different than the posts and pages. You can then go here to view, edit, delete, or add a new page. And moving on down to the categories. And obviously you probably know what a category is. This is just some way to categorize your posts or your pages. So you can add a new, you can view, edit, or delete your categories. And these all are just data types. So a post, a page, a category, these are all just different data types. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean by data type. So if I go in here to the tools and I go to database, we then have all of our database tables and we can then add some bread to that table to give it browse, read, edit, add, and delete functionality. So it really is just a data type or you can even just refer to it as the database table, but we just added bread or crud operations to that particular table. So I could then go ahead and browse any of them, say if I were to browse the posts, then sure enough, it's just going to take me back to the same place as if I were to go to the posts right here. So then going back to the database, we can also create a new table. So you can actually directly add or edit or delete tables from your database. So then going back, I'm going to show you one more thing with the bread builder. Say if I were to go here to the pages and I were to edit the page and I scroll down, let's see this excerpt right here. This is a text area and then we have a rich text box right here. Let's say perhaps that we wanted the excerpt to be a rich text box similar to the body. Well, what we could do is we could then just go into the bread and we could change that type. So I could then go to the pages and I could say that I want to edit the bread. And then if I scroll down and I find the excerpt right here, then I can change this to a rich text box. So if I click on that and I scroll down and then I click on submit, and now going back to the pages, and I can go to edit. And now you can see that the excerpt actually has a rich text area. So we could then add an image if we wanted to, add a video, or add some bold text, or anything else that you would normally be able to do with a rich text editor. So this is really cool because we can then add some bread to a database table, and we can specify what each of the rows are if they are a text area, if they are a text box, if they are an image, if they are a checkbox. So you can build the forms for every single database table so that way you can browse, read, edit, add, and delete data from that table. So let's move on down and let's check out the menu builder. So if we go to the menu builder, you can see this is where we can add new menus and then we can also display them on the front end. So this menu over here on the left is actually being created from the Voyager menu builder. So I can go here to the builder and you can see that we have all the menu items that we have over here on the left. 
So say if I were to possibly swap up roles and dashboards, and then if I were to reload, you can now see that the roles is the first one up there. So we have a really nice drag and drop menu editor. Okay, and I don't want to make this video too much longer, so let's move along and going into the compass section. So this is a new section that will give you resources, documentation, you have the Voyager homepage and the Voyager hooks. So then you can also go down here and see all the different fonts that you can use. You can go here and run some PHP artisan commands directly from Voyager. And then you can also go here to see your application log files. So once you have more log files, you can then click on the log file and you can sort them based on if it's an error or if it's an information and you can see all of your log files directly from Voyager. Okay. And next we can go down here and we can go to the hooks. And this is a new section in Voyager where you can add some hooks, which are kind of like plugins, but we're, we decided to call them hooks and they're extra pieces of functionality that will plug directly into your Voyager application. And last but not least is the settings. So if we go to the settings, we can then add a new site setting, such as a title, a description, we can then add a logo, and then we can easily reference these from the front end just by echoing out the setting and then the section and the key. And then we can go down here and add a new setting if we would like. And you can see that we also have these new tabs so they can be grouped by different names. So we have site, admin, perhaps you may want to have something else about a theme or any other settings that you can dream up. So that is it in a nutshell. That is a quick introduction to Voyager. In the next video, we'll learn how easy it is to install. And then throughout the rest of the series, we're going to learn all about how to use Voyager to help you build an awesome web application.